Welcome everybody, it's Telm, and in this video we are going to be talking about how doing the hardcore version of the easter egg lets you save Klaus. So let's first start off with the question, what is the difference from the casual side of the easter egg and the hardcore? Well that one's obvious to most people, one Klaus dies and the other he lives. But how exactly does that work? Well for our first hint, we can look at the difference between what we see in the two endings. And yes, the cinematics are identical, but what happens after the cinematics is not. And it surprised most people, one thing that isn't different is right after the cutscene, Klaus is dead in both of them. But what changes is when we hold Barabosa's hilt. In the casual easter egg, nothing happens, we just swing it around the air for a bit. But in the hardcore, it starts to glow red for a bit, and after this, and only after this, is when we see Klaus alive again. So now that we have an understanding that it has something to do with Barabosa's hilt and this red stuff, we have to kind of understand why this actually happens, and what really is this red stuff? Well our first good example of it and our basic understanding of what this is is told to us by Dr. Straub, and he calls it the Geistkraft, and what he said was that it could be used to bring people back to life, but of course zombified. But we do know that this has many other uses, like using it to buy perks, doors, regular energy, and much much more. In fact, I'll soon be making a video on how the guys crafts energies, full abilities, and strengths. But what we see here is that used with Barbosa's hilt, it could be used to bring someone back to life, not even zombified. And this would justify the extra steps we have to do for the hardcore easter egg. What is it that we are doing the extra steps for the hardcore easter egg? Well, it's to further charge the hilt of Barbosa with guys craft energy. With the casual easter egg, you only charge it enough to have the hilt released from the rock. Of course, you do other things, but you are also charging it with guys craft energy. And of course, this comes from the zombies and many other things. But in the hardcore easter egg, after charging the hilt to be released, you further charge it with the upgraded tesla guns. And this is how we charge Barbosa's hilt to being powerful enough to bring someone back to life, not even zombified. And this is really starting to show us how powerful the guy's craft energy truly is. But with that said, we're not exactly sure this was a good idea to use it to bring Klaus back to life because when we did, he didn't seem too happy about the whole thing. And on top of that, inside the non-glitched ending, because most of the ending everybody's have seen so far is actually glitched, but in all the non-glitched endings, Klaus actually goes and commits suicide, so doing either side probably doesn't matter because he ends up dead regardless. One thing that does change is that Barabosa's hilt is charged with Geistcraft energy and the other it is not. But then again, maybe you discharged it all on Klaus and maybe they're both not charged anymore. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Tell me what you guys think about the Geistcraft energy and this is just a small sneak peek to see what it could actually do. We just don't know its full strength yet. We do have some idea at this point, but we do not have a full understanding of it yet, and it gets me really excited. And this is probably the coolest thing in the storyline I've seen so far. This guy's craft energy is so cool, and I can't wait to explore it more. But anyways, tell me what you guys thought about this whole thing. What do you guys think about Klaus committing suicide? What do you think about the guy's craft energy, Barabosa's hilt, or anything at all? Go ahead and tell me down in the comments. But if you guys did enjoy this video and left a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and even shared because that one's the best then i thank you guys so much for doing so but i'm gonna go and i will catch you guys on my next video